Queen of England goes behind Muslim mayor's back with shocking announcement he didn't see coming. Although the system of government in England is much different than ours here in the U.S., a gradual shift in power has made it a little more like America's with a mayor making decisions, but the Queen of England is still very much in charge. The tradition of that royal structure is still very much important to the people and she just proved her power with what she did behind the Muslim mayor's back who she's recently been in disagreement with. The Queen is certainly not happy with what she sees happening in her beloved city of London, which has recently become unrecognizable under the Muslim mayor's leadership. Refugees from terrorist-tied countries seem to control what's going on there and attack at will without being stopped by Mayor Sadiq Khan who would rather make excuses for their actions than ensuring the safety of the citizens. London's Mayor, Sadiq Khan has come under scrutiny lately, not just because of his policies but because of the possible conflict of interest that is his belief in the violent religion that is Islam, Freedom Daily recently reported about the qualms people are having with Khan. Many have doubted that he's qualified to lead a major city now that he's not willing to take action against his Muslim brothers who are acting on their violent religion and harming the citizens of London. He's also having problems with his feud with our president. The two have been in a bit of Twitter battle that has resulted in Khan not wanting to have anything to do with the president's visit, despite the Queen's personal invitation. The Queen has quietly sat back and given Khan the chance to do his duty as a show of respect, but now she's had enough and is showing that she's the ruler over the entire country and he's she the leader of London. Shortly after he took office in January, President Donald Trump hosted UK Prime Minister Theresa May who offered an invitation in kind for Trump to visit Britain and meet with Queen Elizabeth sometime around October, Conservative Tribune reported. Since Khan thinks he calls the shots he thought that this invitation would be called off, considering the lack of love between him and America's unapologetic president. Khan couldn't be more wrong and just got put firmly back in his place by the Queen who announced that despite how he feels about Trump. The President of the United States is still very much welcome in England, and will keep the previously set plans. The Truth Division reports. Queen Elizabeth is not putting up with Sadiq Khan's rhetoric, and the media isn't saying a word about it. While the far-left London mayor petitioned to have President Donald Trump's UK visit cancelled, the Queen put his trivial outrage aside and invited the US Commander-in-Chief anyway. With someone as assertive as Trump in the White House, he appreciates the Queen's candor and also that she realizes her power as much as he does his own. He's not taking any direction from London's mayor when he doesn't have to and does the Royal Highness herself on his side. Equally as blunt as the Queen and Trump is the White House press secretary Sean Spicer who was asked for his opinion on the tit-for-tat spat between London's mayor and the president. True to Spicer's typical blunt style, he didn't pull any punches. According to Breit Bart, Press Secretary Sean Spicer was asked at the Daily White House press briefing on Tuesday about London Mayor Sadiq Khan's saying that President Donald Trump's visit to the UK should be cancelled after the president criticized the mayor's remarks about the terror threat there. Khan said there was no reason to be alarmed by an increased police presence in London following yet another terror attack on Saturday on the London Bridge. The President, appreciates Her Majesty's gracious invitation, Spicer responded, referring to the invitation extended to Trump by Queen Elizabeth. Trump tweeted about the mayor's seemingly incongruous remark about the police presence in London following the attack. Pathetic excuse by London Mayor Sadiq Khan who had to think fast on his no reason to be alarmed statement, Trump tweeted on Monday. MSM is working hard to sell it. While it shouldn't be surprising that a city which has opened its doors to every terrorist who wishes to enter would put a Muslim in as the mayor, it should also come as no coincidence that there have been more terrorist attacks there recently. The people of this once great city should be mad as hell that their mayor is still making excuses for these killers, and lying to the scared citizens by saying they shouldn't be alarmed. How much more blood needs to spill into London's streets before this agitator admits that this is a problem? Perhaps, he's part of it. Part of it.